and welcome to another episode of Susana's Scrapping Corner. It's been a little bit. I've been dying to make another video and today I want to show you how to make a simple but fun thank you card. What we're going to use today is I've taken one of the pre-already cut and scored cards that I bought in a pack from one of the major craft stores. I have just a, this is the standard A2 size. I cut the green piece of paper a little bit smaller and then of course a white piece of um, this is fantastic sticky backed pa textured paper from Sizzix that I found it on clearance as well. This is a piece of the Stamping Up sticky paper pages. Um, it's actually great to work with especially when you want to use glue or micro beads. I'm using my Martha Stewart uh, glitter it's a fine glitter that is much easier to work with than a chunky glitter for this type of project. My Sizzix Thanks Big Die. Um, I've actually used this before in some cards that are on my blog as well. My Elmer's Craft Bond Glue Spots. I found these cute little butterflies as well in a store that I visited for the first time, Scrap a Doodle Doo, in northern New Jersey. I have my Stampin' Up Exacto Knife. And a plain piece of paper, which you will see is so much easier to when you're doing glitter. So I'm glad you joined us, and now on to our project. Hi, hey, welcome back to our next segment. Um, first, I'm going to show you very simple how we're going to construct the card background. Um, one idea I had thought of because I very rarely like a blank card base. You could take Versamark and stamp an image tone on tone just to give it a little oomph. You could also take a Sizzix or a Cuddlebug embossing folder and emboss your actual card base. Today, since I have the textured paper that's going to go on top of each, on top of the card base, I decided to just leave it alone. So what I do is, as I said, this is an A2 card. I just cut my green piece paper, which is textured a little bit smaller because I I want to just have the purple show through slightly. It is a double sided piece of paper. It's kind of neat. But I chose to use the green and the purple. Purple being my favorite color. And this very bright green actually works very well with this color purple. So very simple. Like I said, just cut it slightly smaller. It doesn't need to be perfect. I don't subscribe to anything being perfect. So we have our purple and we have our green. As I said, this paper is also textured. It's same consistency as card stock and it is by Sizzix. Like I said, I did find it at the clearance bin. And the best part about it is you can just go ahead and peel off this backing. It takes me a little bit sometimes because now I have no nails just in case anyone noticed. You peel it off and it is sticky as you can see. And I decided to go with the white on top of the green because we're going to use three different types of glitter and I wanted it, it to pop on the white. So now that we have our card pretty much set up, we want to move on to our Sizzix die. It's the phrase thanks. It is a big die. It's a medium size die. And here's our stamping up sticky page paper as well. All I'm going to do is go ahead and layer that on top. I try not to waste too much. And put it in between the two Sizzix plates. This gets me sometimes when I use the bigger dies because I have to kind of play around to see what will fit through this the Big Shot machine. So you're layering it between the two plastic plates. It's the big die as well. And I'm going to use my Big Shot. I very rarely do this sitting down so I'm going to give it a shot and just crank it through. Now that it's come out the other side, it's amazing that these plates don't cut all the way through. It does, if you notice, don't panic that it does leave an indentation of anything that you could cut. It hasn't really damaged your plate. I've had these for a long time and I have not replaced my, my plates at all. So as you can see on the sticky paper, it's gone ahead and cut through. And all I do is pop it out. I really like this die. Um, there is another one that I had my eye on a while. I can't seem to find it now. It is a bird and a vine and some leaves. That um, is also, I believe, a Sizzix big die. 
but I haven't been uh, able to find it yet. But I will be sure to be successful eventually. So as you see, we have our side here with the sticky back paper, and then we also have this as well. I've played with this. I haven't really found any, you know, right or wrong way. I'm sure somebody will tell me I did it wrong, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to peel it off and adhere it to our card, and then I'm going to show you how to make this three different types of glitter, and we'll be right back with that. I've gone ahead and attached the die cut thanks phrase out and put it on the card. And like I said, I, there will be some people that said I use the sticky pages incorrectly, but it's really not because it is so much easier to go ahead and score each letter with the paper side up. It's the, the other side is plastic and it's kind of difficult to score well enough through to make it easy enough to remove the, pa the paper from to reveal the glue. So I've gone ahead and scored most of these letters in between each one and I just wanted to show you that when you score you don't have to press very hard because you don't want to actually cut into the glue that's underneath. You just want to score enough to go ahead and go between cut the paper so it'll make it easy enough to put to peel. If you haven't it's really not a big deal. It is not hard to remove the paper so you will be able to do that. As I said, we're going to use th three different colors of, of the fine glitter. We're going to use green, silver, and purple. I chose them because the silver is close enough, of course, to the white, and the green and the purple, you, well, you know why. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you will use the multicolored glitter for this one project. Now normally, if you went ahead and pulled it, you'd have glue showing for each individual letter. That's why we scored this and that's why it's going to make it that we can use the three different colors. I've gone ahead and taken a scrap piece of um, paper, 8.5 by 11 from the fax machine because it is so much easier. I do own one of the glitter cat bead catchers. I find that it has a lot of static electricity. I've even used my um, embossing buddy on it from stamping up. It did not help the static problem and the glue ends up getting the glitter ends up getting mixed. So plain piece of paper works just fine. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is peel away the first letter. So I've cut the scored the paper to remove the T. As you can see, we have a little bit of the glue. Now you can see the glue base that was underneath. What I'm going to go ahead and do, head and do is use green first. Any color is fine, doesn't matter. Um, what I usually like to do is I like to pat it to make sure that the glue, that the glitter adheres to the glue. Tap it off. I go, I will go back later, and I, you know, you can brush off the excess. But as you can see, when you have it on the paper, it is easier to bend the paper and put it on. I'm usually a whole lot neater with that, but today that's okay. We don't need to be perfect. Now I'm going to move on to the next letter, which is the H. Again, just stick your nail underneath it, peel it away, making sure you don't take any of the other. I don't know who's calling me right now, but we'll get back to them later. So we've gone ahead with the green. I was going to go ahead next with the silver and put the silver on top. Like I said, you want to be generous with the glitter because you want to make sure that it's going to fully cover. Pat it again. Go ahead and tap off the excess. And we have our T and our H. Like I said, I, I have a brush uh, that I do brush away the glitter after. Oh, I don't want to waste all your time for that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the last letter, which is the purple. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish the other letters up and then add a little bit of embellishment. 
So I'm going to go ahead and, and peel off the A. Get your nail underneath the paper. Like I said, if you try to peel off the other side, it is a lot more challenging. Peel off the paper for the A. And we're going to go ahead and use the purple. This purple color is my favorite. I'm actually not a humongous fan of glitter. I don't know. I guess I didn't want to be messy as a child. Um, so I actually did buy micro beads that I'm going to try this with. Tap off the excess. And go ahead and put the glitter inside. See, I did that one a little bit better. So I'm going to go and peel off the rest of our letters and apply our glitter. And then we'll, I will show you how we can just dress this card up a little bit. As you can see, I've gone ahead and I had peeled off all the letters and added the glitter as well. So we just, since there was six letters, we chose three colors and alternated them and they look great. I decided that I didn't want to leave the edge of the card of the purple that's showing plain. So I received this American Crafts Galaxy Marker. It's a paint-like ink and it can write on light or dark paper. Um, I received this from the, scra the Scrapbook Expo here from my dear friend Erin. Her blog is comfy on my cloud. So she brought me a little gift bag because I couldn't go to the Expo this year. So I used that and I just did a simple pattern all the way around. And I want to just add a little extra something. You could use twine, you could use ribbon, whatever you prefer. But I had found these wonderful little butterflies. I thought they were so adorable. Not something that I could make, really make myself. So I've gone ahead and I want to add these to my card. Now, since they're sheer, it's like a, covered with like a pantyhose material. I decided to use my glue dots and it's really simple because I you know just put it behind the wing and then go ahead and peel it off so you have your glue dots on all the different all the different sides. Now turn this around so I can see the placement to make sure I put them where I like them to be and I'm gonna go ahead and put one this way. I'm gonna bend them down so the, the wings will stick but yet the body still is stuck, is sticking up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this butterfly as well. We'll just have them on a diagonal. So here we are. It's a really simple card. As you see, it doesn't take very long. Um, the die is great. Um, I want to experiment a little bit more with the sticky pages to um, see possibly cutting it with the Cricut. I um, hope maybe that'll work. I'd like that because I have so many cute things that I would like to do um, with these sticky pages. I'm also, as I said, going to try it with micro beads and see how I like that look as well. So I thank you for joining us for another episode of Susanna's Scrapping Corner. And I look forward to sharing another project with you really soon. Have a great day.